Hi everyone, it's been a while. I did the uh, review last time with the little headphones that I have. And this my new music room or audio room is still work in progress. It's not even ready, but overall layout and everything is set and I'm I'm still working on the uh, you know acoustic treatments. So overall treatments is about 30 to 40 percent done you know, sides and, you know, a little bit of back and, you know, all the surrounding area for the direct reflection treatments for the, you know, diffusion and sound absorbing material. So those are more information and more uh, room tour coming in near future. So today I want to talk about this uh, recently released Gusted Audio R26 R2, uh, you know, step letter uh, digital to analog converter. So R2 uh, DAX has been gaining a lot of popularity and a lot of people enjoying the sound thanks to, you know, the way that they can produce reasonably priced in uh, manufacturers from Chinese hi-fi manufacturers. So I've been enjoying this uh, musician audio Aquarius R2 R deck, which is a little bit of on high end price point category, but this gusted audio, this R26 for 1650 US dollars. Some country may have different price point. So this one features the uh, gusted uh, K2 uh, internet clock synthesizer as well as it uses the dual transformers inside for power supply of the unit and it has your seven digit inputs with two analog output uh, RCA and XLR. Also it has the uh, digital uh, volume control attenuator built inside so in case if you want to use it as a pre-amplifier connecting your power speakers or power amplifier using this deck. It has a compass size remote control that you can control through with all the menu setting and everything. So let's get to the menu here real quick. If you hit and hold the center button, it will take you to the main menu. Then you can change all the setting right here. So that is the middle of then go to the next step. So all the things that you can change. I set my brightness to number eight instead of auto because I just want to make sure it shows in the video. Uh, usually I think it should be fine if you set it to auto. Whenever it changes the format, then uh, this uh, little display will light up and dim it back down when it's playing. So that is really nice feature to have. So that is the uh, PCM non over sampling on and off. So that is where is you can change it. And next thing is DSD. So you will hear the, the clicking sound. DSD direct on, attenuation off, on. So that is where you can change it as well. So this is the clock selection. If you have an external clock, you can use it as well. If you hit and hold, you can get out of the menu. So that's where all the features and function. You can fix it by go all the way after the zero, then it will be volume fix function. Then you can go back to this. This is, uh, you are lowering the volume. So meaning the volume will be less loud. So minus 90 dB is totally mute. So you can set the gain from changing the uh, this dial here. So you can go all the way back to fix or zero gain. So that is the uh, standard when you're using it as a deck. But if you use it as a pre-deck, your volume should be way down, should be around like starting from around like 60 something, then you increase it from there to your liking. So that is my little menu walkthrough here. And main power button is in the back. But R2 R DAX, they, are, they perform the best when you leave it on. So those menu functions are very simple and straightforward and very easily can change all the setting. All my listening, I try with the uh, 
NOS function on and off, DSD direct on and off, and PC and filter and everything, I play around with it. So what I noticed was the uh, DSD uh, function is very good to have if you want to bypass all together and directly feeding DSD signal to the architecture inside the DSD, uh, I mean, Gusted Audio R26 digital to analog conversion. So that is really features that I like, which I used. So what I like about that feature is when playing DSD file, uh, what I like and what I notice is the uh, most, a little bit more spacious and area sound quality. That is a very noticeable feature. And another feature that I really like is NOS function on and off, which can be easily done from remote control or from this button, middle button. If you press and hold, it will take you to the main menu. It really makes big difference, okay? In my system, I like the way they sound with NOS on. For example, what you will hear, the sound sample that I play in this video is Grace Meyer uh, Kiss of Life cover recorded in live concert in, you know, dark cafe in Shinjuku, Tokyo. So that before it closed down and moved to different location. So that is the last live concert that happened in the jazz cafe. So it has a very pure DSD live recording, origin of music was recorded that way. So what I noticed, and even playing the SACD disc, what I can notice is a different kind of a noises, like a little bit of hissy uh, background noise that I can notice right around the uh, bass rolling intro before all the instruments kick in. That hissing, a little bit of background noise is totally gone. If you turn off the noise feature, if you turn it back on, I play it again, then the noise feature on and off and playing around, then, you know, when I turn it back on, then I can notice the hiss noise is noticeably uh, apparent and very noticeable. The notes are more revealed and more vivid and more elevated and more three-dimensional. So that's what I really love. I really like DSD direct and the NOS feature off. Okay, that's what, I mean, NOS feature on. NOS feature on meaning not over sampling. So that's what I like and that's what I use in sound sample as well. That is very much noticeable playing with my JBS, this uh, L100 Classic 75th Anniversary Edition speakers. And it, it is area as well. So some may ask how this deck, R26 deck, compared to my reference uh, Musician Audio Aquarius R2 uh, deck. Uh, different is, I mean, uh, other frequencies are comparable. I mean, mid-range to higher frequency, instrument separations and vividness and immediacy this Aquarius is a bit better and more area sound in upper end as well as better bass control. So Gusted Audio R26 bass control is slightly soft and bass response is slightly softer, not as tight as this Aquarius R2 R deck can produce and immediacy was slightly less. So even if I try the uh, functions or PCM filter function, they have uh, three different functions, slow, mid, and fast are uh, three functions. So the mid, mid range, I mean middle function, they come standard from the factory, which is, I think is great balance. Fast function is very good, but time to time, it can introduce a little bit of tiny bit of brightness in certain music. So I end up using the middle function on that PCM filter. So those are the really good experience that I like to share with you listening to this deck. Some people are really curious about that, uh, you know, streaming function and everything. So this one is not RON ready or RON certified product. Okay, this is like a, a middle device. So you have to have some sort of a, streamer between, you know, like run or 
any streaming service that you used and using the digital output, I2S or USB or anything that offer connected to this deck, then you can stream it and you can control it through this deck. That's what they mentioned. So, but Gusted Audio is not really specifically mentioned how exactly it works. So that is, uh, we still have to find out. This is a recently released and very new product. So that's why I will not be mentioning how all the streaming function work. But as far as my testing, it only work as the, uh, you know, the digital analog converter, the actual uh, streamer controller DAC that you can control all your streaming stuff is not like that. It's not gonna work like that, okay? Just want to clarify, but it's good to have. I test it as a pre DAC using the uh, two uh, Sabai Ice Power Mono Blocks playing my speakers, and it works really nice. But it sounded a little bit softer than I would like, a little less spacious compared to playing with my main amplifier, which is Denon BMA S611. And I always use this Sony HAPZ1 ES as a music server. Oyaide Neo Class A USB cable connected to this Gusted Audio R26 deck from my Sony HAPZ1 ES serving as a music server. Some may wonder, oh, you are using the two decks together. It's not because Sony specifically mentioned that uh, if I'm using, if we are using the USB output, internal digital to analog conversion is completely turned off. Meaning they are only outputting actual file itself, not converting anything. All the work is handled by this deck or any deck that you pair them. So, Compared to Sony, I mean, sound quality, I play back and forth as well. So Sony is slightly more neutral and a little bit uh, cooler sound signature. This Gusted Audio R26 is slightly warmer and a little bit more louder in terms of uh, loudness level, okay? Given same music file that I play back to back, for this review, I use these two different speakers, JBL100 Classic 75th and CSS Audio to DDX with the uh, superior Jensen uh, crossover parts. So this one uh, retail for around $5,500. This one is, if you use Jensen part, it should be around like $3,300 something. So these two speakers I use, and by the way, this is the one that I built. So these are two speakers that I use. So what I like is they work wonderfully well, okay? This JBL is pronounced more to your face and you are sitting to like front row seat kind of sound quality with everything is vivid and spacious and immediate and realistic. This CSS Audio 2 TDX is really refined and absolutely forgiving and engaging tonality. I'm gonna read you uh, my listening uh, notes. So when I'm listening, I'm taking notes in my phone. So most of my music listening level is 80 to 85 dB range. Here's I noted, nice and spacious sound with perfect touch of polish refinement in overall sound quality yet, stay dynamic enough to rock hard when needed. Okay, that is my first phrase because I try a few different music. And detail retrieving is probably one of the best in the price range without overdoing anything. Best of all, one of the most accurate sounding R2R deck that you can have for the money. In example, Bring It All Home, by Rebecca Pigeon, her voice was so natural and the added reverb effect is very noticeable and enjoyable to listen when playing this R2, Custard R26 R2 deck and my JBL L100 Classic speakers. Because, here's what I say, 
Many Delta Sigma decks will kill that, that reverberated tone quality, the effect, because it will tame it down. So that is the benefit of using the, uh, you know, non oversampling feature in this deck, which I really appreciate. But also I said, tiny bit of raspiness in her voice, which is Rebecca Pigeon, is properly reproduced and noticeable. It's not very noticeable with many decks. She has slight raspiness when she was singing. So that is the uh, really good. And also I noted not only good for good quality, higher quality recording, this deck also sound very good with some subpar recording or not so great recording as well, which has the forgiving, uh, you know, sound reproduction, even for not so great recorded files. So that's what I want to say. So also one or another one of my favorite, Eye in the Sky from uh, Alan Person Project sounded so good. As good as listening to vinyl. So that's really something is saying that sound reproduction out of this R26, R2 uh, deck is. So those are some of my listening notes. And then, um, you know, also said that uh, a little bit of praise words. So this is one of the best sounding and engaging digital to analog converter that I enjoy listening, not only in this system or room, including previous system. So that's the highlight and that is the conclusion of this R26 tag, which I can easily recommend you to try it as well as if you want to use it as the uh, streamer DAC, meaning you still have to have a streaming device between it and you can attach the uh, power amplifier or you can attach the uh, power uh, speakers if you want to use it as a pre deck which has a really uh, unique feature compared to other R2 or decks in my opinion. And in my experience, this R26 deck is highly positive and high quality decks that you can have for the, the price, 1650 US dollars. To me, one of the best selling point is actual sound reproduction. So engaging tonality, spacious sound. So those are the things that are really, you know, great listening and enjoying this deck in my system. Even with the, uh, you know, like listening to all the recording, what I really like is the, uh, how much it can make different between added features like NOS features or DSD direct and all the features and then you know PCM filters and everything so it makes big difference and noticeable so that is a really big plus and this received my highest recommendation if you are shopping for R2 or DAC in this price point my friend thank you very much for watching and happy listening
on the bass, Mr. Tony Boyd, Chris Kassanis. On the guitar, Anna Maria Kassanis.